Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and a little bit of a bonus video for you today. This is the results of the iPad 2 survey that I put online. Now, before I go through the results of the survey, I just want to cover off one of the questions I've been getting asked more or less every day this week, and that is questions like, Dave, when are you getting an iPad? Which iPad are you buying? And where are you getting it from? Well, we all know that it's just three days until the iPad 2 launches in the United States and then in the UK we've got to wait another two weeks all the way around to the 25th for the iPad 2 to be available here. Well a good friend of mine and business acquaintance has uh, done, done, just done me proud and I'm really really happy that um, he's agreed to purchase an iPad 2 for me in an Apple store and then send it over to me. Now it's going to cost roughly the same as if I'd purchased one from the UK but it does mean that I should get hold of the iPad 2 a little bit earlier than if I'd waited for the UK launch. Now the model I'm going for is the 64 gigabyte Wi-Fi plus 3G. Uh, obviously because I'm in the UK I'll be buying the AT&T version so that will work over here in the UK and of the two colors that are available I personally have opted for black. I prefer the black bezel around the screen. So I hope that's answered those questions. Now let's take a look at the will you be buying an iPad 2 survey that so many of you took part in. Now I had 130 people answer the survey in just about a week, a week that it was online. Uh, so a big thank you to everyone who's uh, taken part in this. You can see here 130 respondents and of the respondents 45% will definitely be buying an iPad 2. 34% have given me a maybe and 22% have indicated that they won't be buying an iPad 2. So that's quite interesting, let's discuss this a little bit. Maybe the ones that are saying they won't or maybe already own an iPad first generation and is it worthwhile upgrading? So a, a good mix of answers there but at least 45% of the respondents are definitely going for this new version. Then we move on to uh, which colour of iPad will you be purchasing. Uh, this is very interesting as well because this mirrors my decision to go for the black iPad 2. 69% of those actually making the purchase are going to go for a black one or those of you considering making the purchase as well are included in this result and 31% of the respondents will be going for the white version. So interesting there, a good mix, a lot of people taking advantage of the new white version. Let's hope that does ship as Apple promises on day one, otherwise a lot of people will be disappointed again. But I'm sure it will do. Now this next result, I did think that this was going to be the case. Uh, the Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi plus 3G model, uh, amazingly 77%, so a big, big swing to uh, the Wi-Fi version. Um, I think a lot of people are realising they don't necessarily need 3G, especially when they're going to be able to share the data plan that they've got on their iPhone 4. And 23% are going to go for the uh, Wi-Fi plus 3G version. Now, I think that the Wi-Fi plus 3G version isn't necessary, but it does offer up the convenience of uh, being able to um, connect wherever you are without having to worry about... Um, tethering to a mobile phone. Now the next question, is this your first iPad? Now this result surprised me actually because I always considered a lot of my viewers and listeners to already be uh, iPad owners uh, but of those that responded 54% are going to be purchasing an iPad for the first time so it's going to be their first iPad purchase. So that is fantastic and that indicates that Apple are going to pick up a lot of new users with the iPad 2 launch. 46% of people who responded to this question are actually purchasing this as their second iPad. I then went on to ask that if this is your second iPad, have you or will you be selling your old one? 55% of you will be keeping hold of, the, of your old iPad. So that is fantastic news. It means that you still value the old iPad and um, you're going to be keeping hold of it. 45% uh, so still a big percentage of you are going to be actually selling your old iPad. 
maybe to fund the purchase of the new second generation one. And the next question, are you considering or did you consider buying a Google Android based tablet instead? Well, 70% of you said no, so that means I've got a big swing towards uh, Apple iOS lovers. Fantastic news, but interestingly, 30% of you did actually consider an Android uh, based tablet first, um, or instead, sorry. Now, I'm just gonna pop up a detailed report of this question six. And um, I just wanna go through some of these uh, comments in into which actual Android tablet people considered instead of the iPad 2. And we've got a mix of things here, uh, but the, the two that really do stand out are the Motorola Zoom and the Galaxy Tab. Uh, they seem to pop up a lot in your consideration for an alternative to the iPad 2. So a lot of answers here, but all mainly Motorola Zooms and Galaxy Tabs, a couple uh, mentioning the HP touchpad. So that's really interesting. So back to the main survey questions. And the last question I posed is, what was the reason you chose to buy the iPad 2? Well, I had um, 92 people respond to this. Uh, let's just walk through some of them. It just works. Experience of Android has put me off bothering with other OSs for the moment. Camera mainly and like the new design. Uh, because it's Apple, overall sexiness, a more complete solution. Uh, I've had an iPhone 3GS for almost a year now. Uh, while it's a fantastic phone, the only thing I'm using on it is Safari, Twitter and Facebook. Um, so I might consider cancelling my postpaid phone service and go for a one gigabyte data plan on the iPad 2 so I can have it with me while I'm on the go. Very good response. Uh, faster speed, better graphics, dual cameras, iMovie support, big thing that iMovie, tons of apps, Apple hardware reliability. Let's go on to the next page, absolutely loads of responses on this. Uh, much faster and much thinner, this respondent saying. Uh, faster processing, slimmer design. It's the original tablet. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's top notch in its class. So very interesting response there. And what else have we got? Best tablet out there, nothing beats it. I also had this really interesting response from uh, Dr. Buck, who uh, I do watch Dr. Buck's videos on YouTube a lot. Uh, I'm Dr. Buck, why would I get anything other than iPad? No, just joking. Don't like how different manufacturers with the same OS will have different hardware. So moving from one Android tablet to another is a learning curve. That is a very good point. Um, a lot of Android tablets um, have diff slightly different UIs and different hardware to learn. So yes, you do have to learn uh, between tablets. Uh, don't like how possibly a company can adopt Android then change the UI to make it unique. I think what Dr. Buck is referring to here is with um, a lot of Android based phones that we've seen so far, we've got things like um, uh, the uh, TouchWiz interface that Samsung put over the top. I know they're not doing that on the Samsung Galaxy Tab, but other manufacturers might put, put their overlay on the top. We've got HTC with their Sense UI, so everything's just, uh, just a little bit hard to transition across from one device to another. Um, also, the app catalog for Android on OS Honeycomb is just too small. And finally, no great content ecosystem in place. Um, and he's got a big investment in the iOS ecosystem, so a lot of apps already purchased. So that is a big factor in uh, decision when you're looking at buying a new device, is have you already got lots of apps on your existing device? So I'm just going to go back up to this first question result just to close on this video just a recap of the respondents 130 people 45% will be buying an iPad 2 34% are maybes my guess is they will probably buy one as well 22% are not going to be buying an iPad 2 so thank you very much for watching this video I'll see you all in the next one please do subscribe to the Geekanoids channel and also follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids